Hello everyone. Oh, Christ, there's a bee. Hi everyone, it is Memorial Day and I am here in the south side right by the Gap Trail ready to go on a little hike. So I figured I'd take you guys along with me as we walk on the trail. So I'm trying out my new trail runners I got from REI two days ago. They're the Brooks Cascadia 16. Um, I sized up from my road running shoes, which are the Brooks Adrenaline 22. I'm not a shoe person, so I'm hoping these are all accurate. So I'm doing a little bit of a test run today. Um, and I'm an RAI member, so I can return them up to a year after if I don't like them. So I think that's going to be the plan. In terms of supplies slash gear, I don't have a ton since obviously I'm just going to be on a random road. But I have some sunglasses, I have the fit, which is a combo of slightly not matching and too large. I have this Hike Pro bag, which I really love. Some water, obviously. Um, I have a mask just in case. Sunscreen. Oof. Raisins. And I don't use it at all because it's really hot already but I have this sweater that I always wear um, just brought because I like how it feels like on my back <laughs> so for those unfamiliar the Great Allegheny Passage is um, a rails to trails thing so it used to be a railroad and then obviously people used less railroads so it was converted to a footpath um, and so a bunch of people use it for biking and walking and all of these things and it passes through 150 miles starting at Point State Park in Pittsburgh and ending in Cumberland Maryland I don't really know where Cumberland Maryland is but I do know it's 150 miles away <laughs> I found a path off the main trail and I'm not sure if it leads anywhere. Oh, well, this is a cute little place. Ooh, another alluring off-trail path. Ooh, I see a patch of sun as I'm trying to avoid all of these leaves. Ugh, gross. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, no, it continues going. I see a tent, I think that's somebody's home. Okay, I think we're gonna stay on the main trail. I gotta just keep focused. As you can see, it runs parallel to the railroad. Let me see if I can, there you go, some tracks. If you keep going far enough along, you can ride right next to the tracks. Like, like it's pretty cool how close you can get. Bro, holy shit. How did I miss this on the first go around? Oh my God, shade of train. Yo, this is cool as hell. Sometimes I do kind of feel like a weirdo, I guess, just because like, I feel like it's 10.30 on a holiday morning and I'm the only 22-year-old girl out here alone posing weirdly in front of landmarks. <laughs> but there's worse things I could be doing. I think there is something to be said about bringing like phones and technology into time and nature to record it and then distribute it as content kind of ruins the sanctity of the outdoors which i think there's definitely an element of truth to that even just for like myself i'm not fully present because i'm thinking of like oh i want to record this but i think like everything it's a matter of balance so like sometimes like yeah i'm out here because i think it'll be fun to film and then other times i think it's it's best to not capture it and keep it for yourself if there is any like guideline i think would be good it's that never sacrifice 
the quality of an experience just to record it. You know what I mean? Like if I know that I'm going to enjoy this hike less because I'm recording it, then you shouldn't do it. Or if like, oh guys, we have to stop right now so we can make a photo. I think that's not great. But I don't think it's inherently evil. I decided to turn around since I'm only doing two miles out and two miles back since I have to meet a friend. Um, but yeah, it's really nice. I feel like I'm not really accustomed to how far is far for hiking. Like, I know for four miles running, that's like, okay, you know, it's not like a quick two mile loop, but it's still pretty, it's a, it's a sh short run, relatively. Five miles in my mind is like, okay, we're getting to the mid-sized. But hiking, I have no idea what four miles is. Mm -hmm. We have arrived back to civilization. Back to where we started. And just in time for it to get actually hot. Whew. It is now much later in the day. I got some snacks. Overall, hike was great, felt really good. Would do it again and I'm definitely keeping the shoes. I really like the way they felt, especially having them tied with the runner's loop. So, really excited I don't have to return them. So yeah, thanks for coming along with me and I hope to do it again sometime. Let me know if this was fun or just boring.